Noble warrior, surely you are gaining esteem in these plains. Thanks to your efforts the darkness is receding. Our scouts have informed us of the source of this darkness. A foreboding cavern inhabited by an ancient obsidian arachnid. You must cover the arachnid with paint to shroud the dark aura. Go swiftly. Alright, so we're now prepared to fight. So we're going to bring together all the skills to the table that we've learnt so far. And utilise those to create our final image. Now, if you've been watching along and following the worksheets, you should have learnt um, a lot of what I'm going to cover in this video. So we're going to recap what we've learnt so far, as well as follow the process as I paint this spider. And you may learn um, some new things that I haven't covered in the previous videos. Alright, so let's get into it. Alright, so I've got my spider here ancient obsidian arachnid I should say and uh, gonna add some color on him so I'll complete this quest this is my own thumbnail I've drawn to watch the process of how to do that watch my Thor and Oakenshield character thumbnailing tutorial I'll make a bunch of these guys we're we doing thumbnails still but Color thumbnails. Slap them all together. Uh, we got an army of spiders here now. And we're gonna go in and add a few little details. Um, I'm thinking I wanna worry more about the color here rather than the little details because I have a pretty good idea what details I want to add. I'm just a bit more concerned about uh, the colour. So, just going to lock the transparency. W is my hotkey for the colour picker. Go to this one. Yeah, when, when doing this stuff, it's more about the design, or like the graphic design of it, so trying to think more about how the shape reads as a whole, rather than all the little fine details. Really just exploring and trying to mainly keep the momentum, because the biggest problem you can have is losing that momentum and then kind of getting tired of it whereas if you just keep going and playing around a bit and trying to keep yourself entertained throughout the process as one idea develops that can lead into other ideas so it's really um, one each idea is going to feed into another one because as you can see, I'm just noodling around a lot of the time and just seeing what works and what doesn't. And the joy of it being digital is you can always undo, you can always paint over it. Um, you can make so many tweaks. There's really no reason to be scared or there's no reason to uh, fear the canvas sort of thing. So yeah, just have fun with it and come up with some cool stuff because I mean if you get too hard on yourself throughout the process you generally end up getting a bit frustrated and you can kill your creativity a bit as you can see um, further in the ideas become a bit more concrete although although still um, you know very vague and general ideas, um, they're still coming into fruition nonetheless. So I'm changing uh, the, the brush mode into overlay and things like that so I can get some nice highlights and colour variation in there, just with a big uh, noisy airbrush. 
introducing a bit of color. So yeah, you can see there, as I was talking about before, where um, I've gone back and worked into other thumbnails and been able to introduce some uh, cool details that I ended up being quite happy with. And really, each of these thumbnails aren't individual because you can use this as like a reference sheet to gather different ideas from each thumbnail and then put them into the final uh, illustration or the final design. So yeah, moving into the next bit now, where I'll be uh, moving into the final illustration. <laughs> 